So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozzolo from Curval.com and today I am horribly late publishing this video but uh, I've been uh, really really busy and uh, yes I'm just uh, doing the video right now. Um, better late than never like we say in Spain and I definitely wouldn't know how to start the weekend without a Dutch right, Friday's video right so this is good for you and for me. But Without any more delay, what we're going to talk about today is uh, natural or inner joints and outer joints. We had the cross join last week, so we're going to continue with the same theme on how to join tables. And um, these two is got me a little bit confused, and I'll show you why. But I will explain how they worked, and then I will ask you a question. Let's see if you can help me out. So let's begin the video. Okay, so before beginning in Power BI, I actually did a join video for Power Query a while ago, and I explained the different type of joins that uh, that are available to you. I will post a link to this video so you can check it out in case you are a little bit unsure of how joins work, because you will see that the inner works is the same; it's just there are different functions to do it. Um, so. We have covered the cross join, which is basically a full outer, and we're going to cover today an inner join and a left outer. Um, I created actually a cheat sheet that you have actually available for a download on the description box of that video, where I explain the different kinds of joins. Uh, it's been a very appreciated video. So what we did with cross join is basically when you have two tables and a, you will do a full out there. That means that all from A and all from B. So if you have common rows, it will show them and pair them. And if you don't, you will see them like that. Then we're going to see today an inner join. It's called natural inner join function. And what it will do is just show only matching rows from A and B. The matching rows in this case is the green ones, and this is the result table. And I'm going to show you a outer join, which is basically a left outer. And you have all from A matching from B. So in this case, it will show you all the tables, all the rows from table A and only the matching ones, the ones that are not matching won't show. Okay, so if you want to know more about this, I will post the link of this video below. And even if I don't the video on Power Query, the, the actual functionality is the same, or the principles of the joins. Then how you do it, it differs if you're using DAX or M, of course. But now that you know that, let's start doing the joins. So both the natural inner join and the natural left outer join are very easy in syntax. You have a table one and table two join, and here is exactly the same. You have table one, table two, and join. Uh, it says uh, not the sort order guaranteed and. Uh, Columns being joined must have the same data type in both tables. Okay, mm, and then uh, there is a comment here. It says, I believe this definition must be reviewed, at least for Power BI. My understanding is that the table two cannot have the same column names, and table one and table two must be related. And let me show you what it means, because I experienced exactly the same, and I don't know why they haven't changed the documentation. I, I'm, and this, person is doing something wrong or we're understanding something wrong. But let's go now into Power BI and see how that works. So we are finally here in Power BI and we have two tables. I'm using exactly the same tables as I did for Power Query, so you can follow along. I have manufacturing products and then this is product name, a date, and then um, some amount value and the ID, the product ID. And then we have stock, we have the product ID and where that uh, particular product is stocked. And if we do an inner join, what we're basically doing is just matching the ones that are in common. So that table will only 
give us the products that we have in stock. And if some of these are not in stock, they won't show. So this returns a table, so you need to do a new table. We call it inner join. And then we write join, and then we write manufacturing products, and then stock. So this syntax is like super easy. And it says it requires at least one common join. What that is basically telling me is that it doesn't know what the common join is, and I have to give to join them in a relationship. I've had actually read somewhere that this is not needed that the join should be able to be done without, but perhaps you need to do related and not just put table one and table two. Um, I should probably check that. But here we have uh, the products that we actually have in stock. That's what the natural linear join does. Um, Okay, so now that we know how inner join works, let's do outer join. And just to refresh our memory, the left outer join is this one, which means all from A that match B. Okay, so in this case, we just got these two. In this case, we're going to get all A that match B. So let's go back to Power BI and see how that works. Again, this will return a table, so we need a table. Outer, outer join. This is actually a left outer join, but fine. Um, we are going to write join. We get the left outer. We get manufacturing products, and then we get stock. And this is doing exactly the same, exactly what it's supposed to do. It actually gave us all the products from manufacturing table, and then we got here a list of the things that are in stock. So nothing strange with that. It works beautifully. Now, what happens if we want to do a... We did left outer join, we want to do a right outer join, which is this one. Uh, it means all from B matching from A. So we get all the columns from B and then only the matching ones from A, okay? So you might say, okay, perhaps there is a natural right outer join. There is not. So when you go and search for functions, you will see that that does not exist. But let me see, right outer Ah, right, outer, join. And if I write join, you will see this cross join, which I already explained, natural in the join and natural left outer join. But I think they shouldn't call it natural left because it would have been enough with natural outer join. If I put the stock table first and then the manufacturing table, then I'm going to get a you know, a, a left, a, sorry, a right outer join. So I will get all the products from the stock location that match the manufacturing products table. So perhaps it would have been enough with natural outer join, but doesn't matter. As long as we know that that works, that's fine. Now, if you remember our, the person that commented that says, okay, uh, here, my understanding is that table 2 cannot have the same column names as table 1. And that is actually true. Let me show you. If we go up here to Power Query, I have actually removed a column, this product name, that is already available in the stock location. So if you see here this product name and in the stock is also product name. If I send both of them, is going to give me an error. So it will not allow me to do the joins at all. It's not even loading, so you can even imagine. So you cannot have um, columns that are named the same, which is, a, I mean, it's like super weird. How would you know 
I mean, that would be a nice way to say, okay, this is the common road, just join. I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. If you know, just let me know. It just, for me, it's just confusing. Um, so once I remove the column that has the same names, or if I would rename it to something else, then it will work. But now I'm, I have relationships and I had actually read that this doesn't need the relationship to work. And for me, I can't make it work without the relationship. So tell me how I should do it so it doesn't work with relationships. I will appreciate it. There is one thing though. Um, if I create the tables virtually and join them where there is actually no relation, it will work. Let me show you. Let's do this again. Modeling a new table. And then I'm actually going to put there. And as you can see, they're beautified with the DAX formatter. Okay, so here is. I've already explained row. I already explained union. I already explained variable. So if this sounds Chinese to you, go to DAX Friday's playlist and find those functions and they'll show you how it is. But very, very quickly, this creates a row and uh, basically a table and union puts all the rows together. This is a variable, this is another variable. So this creates table one, table two, and then return. This is where you actually do the natural join. And if I do it like this, it works. There is no relationship being specified anywhere. So I'm confused. So please, if anybody knows what's going on, let me know. I would love to do it. I will do a follow-up video if somebody can explain and I can understand why this is not working the way it's supposed to be. Or perhaps this is the way it's supposed to work. I don't know. Let me know. I would love to know. Um, yeah, in the join, out of join, cross join. We've got them covered. There are other types of joins of tables and I will hope to do that very, very soon. So this is all for today. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is all for today. DAX Fridays. It is a bit late, my God. It is like almost five o'clock. So I will just edit this and publish it right away, perhaps by 5.30. And sorry for being a bit late. It's been... <laughs> A crazy week, you know, before Christmas and rush works and yeah, yes, yes, yes. But it is Friday and uh, as usual, make sure you like the video if you liked it and share it with people that should know about these awesome, awesome DAX functions. If you are new to the channel, I publish Power BI videos every Monday, Wednesday and Fridays. Monday's Power Query. Wednesday's Power BI and Friday's DAX. I will be also in Madrid on the 13th of dear, December, <laughs> December at NetMinds. And I will do a talk about visualizations. This is something that I don't usually talk and I, this is absolutely my favorite topic of all. So I will be in Madrid. If you want to join me, please go. It's uh, NetMinds. 6 30 in madrid so it will be a live talk i would love to meet you there if you have the possibility but uh, yeah don't forget to fill your duck surveys and make sure you have a great weekend and i'll see you again on monday bye